our next question is one of the most powerful questions that you have that focuses on proportionality. Remember, if you also want to send us your question, go to our Facebook page, the Mindset TV Facebook page on www.facebook.com forward slash Mindset TV and then post that question there. If uh, out of a couple of questions, we like your question, we will feature it on the show and in addition to that, we will also also um, give you uh, something, a prize. You stand a chance to win awesome prizes if you send a question and we like it and we feature it on our show. Besides that, we're still continuing. Let's go to the next question. So uh, this question is again another question that was sent to us via social media, like I've already said, and it reads as follows. In the diagram below, ST is a tangent, right? That's a key word right there. When you see the word tangent, like I said before, you need to learn to always, always, always analyze the given information. We always want you to ask yourself a key question. What is a tangent? What do you know about a tangent? Well, if you look at a tangent, we know for a fact that there are three theorems that involve a tangent. And I'm going to put them uh, right there at the top. Let's put them there. Three theorems that involve a tangent. One says a tangent is perpendicular to a, uh, a radius. One says the tan chord will exist there. And then one says two tangents drawn from the same point are going to be equal in length. And once you look at that, you can see uh, in this diagram, we don't have any center. So we're not going to have any radius happening we don't have two tangents we are looking at one tangent so the reason why the examiner is interested in telling you that there's a tangent in this question they're trying to say to you hey look for the tan chord theorem please keep that in mind right so we see that st is a tangent to the circle at um, rwt at t swvr is a straight line okay very important for that and then vp is parallel to wt VP is parallel to WP. We can see that if you uh, allow me to highlight, we see that this is parallel to that line there. Okay. And then in addition, we're also told uh, that RT is parallel to uh, the other line. Okay, fine. So this one here is parallel to WQ. Very important information that will allow us to come and figure out a couple of things that are happening in this uh, diagram. Right. So now we are going to go to the questions. Remember the following, guys. The love letter. Take the love letter, populate your diagram. Once you do that, you're going to stand a chance of acing the question because whatever they're going to ask, you have already covered it in your analysis of the question. Right. So let's go into this one and see what the question is all about and what you need to do. Right. Okay, cool. So we are told here that we need, let's see what we need to do. Oh, look at that. We now need to prove that triangle STW is similar to SRT, right? Now, if you've already started looking at the concept of similarity, you'll agree with me that this is actually a situation where we just have to prove either the angles of the first triangle are the same as the angles of the second triangle. And the important thing you need to keep in mind is the positioning is in such a way that angle S must be equal to angle S, right? And the second angle T, right, must be the same as angle R, and angle W must be the same as angle T. Then if that's the case, then we can claim that those two triangles are similar to each other. Let's try and prove this. So I'm going to say in triangle STW and triangle SRT, we are looking, Kritovs, for three things that are equal there, three angles in this context. Three reasons why we've got three angles that are equal to each other there. So focus on those triangles that they're asking you to look at and ask yourself a couple, a couple of questions. STW is this one. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. This is actually the first triangle. So when we ask you to buy stationary, guys, take that serious. Because highlighters are very useful in geometry. They help you to see your diagram much more easier. That's the first triangle that you're looking at. Now that triangle versus SRT. Now SRT is a big triangle. The very, very big triangle that you're looking at there. The whole triangle all the way going there and then coming back down here and all the way to the other side. So we want you to compare those two triangles and tell us the reasons why they are responding or the corresponding angles are actually equal to each other. Right. So let's see the story. Here. Angle S, you'll notice that is actually an angle in both the yellow triangle and the green triangle. So I'm going to say angle S is actually common. Angle S is common. Very important. The second thing now is I need to find out why angle T will be equal to angle R. But if you look at this, the T we are talking about is angle T2, and that angle T2 is equal to angle R, and it's all thanks to the tan chord theorem. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord on the alternate segment. So I'm going to come and say, examiner, angle T2 is equal to angle R, and the reason for this 
is turn court. Very important for you to keep that in mind. Now, once you're done doing that, the last part now, we don't even have to worry about it. The W in that first triangle. So I'm going to claim it that SWT in the first triangle is equal to um, angle STR in the second triangle. And this is because the sum of angles of a triangle, right, of a triangle equal to 180 degrees. Some people say sum of angles of a triangle. Some people just say third angle of a triangle. That reason is also acceptable. Therefore, triangle STW is similar to triangle SRT. And the reason is angle, angle, angle. So the idea here, grade 12, is that if you have proven that two angles of the first triangle are equal to two angles in the other triangle, then the third one will automatically be equal to each other. So you don't even have to worry about that one. Once you can prove two of them are equal, then the third one is also going to automatically be equal. Right. So let's go to the last part of this question. The last part of this question, they're saying to you, hands. Now, this word hands is a key word in math. It literally implies use the above the result. Use the above result. What you have already worked out, use the above result. Hence, write ST squared in terms of the size of triangle STW and uh, triangle SRT. So what you're simply going to do there is, first of all, go to the fact that triangle STW is similar to triangle SRT. Now, if these triangles are similar, then the sides of these triangles are in equal proportions. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to find the ratios of the corresponding sides. The ratio of the side ST to the ratio of the side SR will be equal to the ratios of the other corresponding sides. So what you do on one triangle, you're just going to repeat on the other triangle. Look at this. ST divided by SR must be the same, grade 12, as TW divided by RT. Must be the same as TW divided by RT. And it must also be the same as SW divided by ST. Very important for you to keep that in mind, right? That looks like a frog of some sort. Keep that in mind. What you do on one triangle, you do on the other. This is because we've got similar triangles, right? And then they wanted ST squared. Where will ST squared come from? It will come when you compare this ratio with this ratio there. If you compare those two, you'll get what you're looking for. So I'm going to say ST over SR is SW over ST. If you cross multiply, your ST squared comes out as SW multiplied by SR. Very powerful question indeed. Thank you for sending us that question.